वेलकम टू द ऑप्टिम कार्ड सोल्यूशन एंड पंकज रत्न बार की वन सेकेंड विल स्टार्ट अवर फ्री ऑनलाइन कोर्स दैट इज प्लास्टिक प्रोडक्ट डिजाइन एंड एडवांस कटिया टूडे वी आर मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ ए बुलियन ऑपरेशन इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन अ जॉइन रिटर्न सो विल मूविंग टूवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सो दिस इज अवर टू डी स्केच इट इज द रेफरेंस ड्रॉइंग एंड विद द रेफरेंस ऑफ दिस वी आर गोइंग टू डिजाइन अवर टू डे स्टार so here is the section and in the 3d you can see that those are the top mountings at the bottom side there is a snap and the additional ribs so this is the 3d view which we are going to design in katia so without wasting the time we'll open the katia so we'll give the name as a joiner it up so this is the 2d with the reference of this we are going to design so we'll start from this 120 and bottom side 70 so with the starting we'll take axis system we'll hide the default planes we'll take axis system selecting the origin we'll take a new body and we'll give some basic shape as an So now let's start with the sketch. So at the top side, so we'll start with this rectangle here. So it's having the dimensions 120, and this thickness is 10. So at the start, we'll extract this one. and will pad for 50 mm so here is the 50 again we'll take a next sketch for bottom side rectangle it is not a rectangle it is absolutely a square and it having some distance that is the 45 70 so we'll keep same in our sketch so this is the 10 mm as it is this is the 70 and now this 70 is get covered and this total distance is 120 yes here is the 120 So now again, we'll make a pad for this also. So it is have seventy mm. So you can see we'll started with those dimensions, top pad and bottom pad. Now we have to fill this internal area. So this is the duct area, which is almost a ten mm offset. From three D, you can see that. So we'll draw the sketch, which having. the section 3 uh, 10 mm offset so we'll take a reference of our bottom square <coughs> so either you can offset it or you can uh, by using the rectangle you also do that so we'll move towards the rectangle we'll take a rectangle after then you have to give the dimensions 10 mm offset from all sides so similar kind of a sketch we have to draw at bottom side also so here same kind of reference we need to take here also <coughs> so you have to select that rectangle yes so now we we'll 
apply the 10 mm offset dimensions. So now both rectangulars which uh, which are 10 mm offset we design so now we have to join the tools by using the multi section solid so as usual uh, we have to use the couplings but before that uh, if you directly preview then you can see without coupling it will not merge properly so definitely you have to use the couplings keep both closing points exactly same so now here you can see the joinery duct is get designed the basic shape so now you have to apply this kind of radiuses after then it is almost a 5 uh, TYP it means typical typically overall it is a 5 radius so we'll apply all over the 5 first of all we'll apply horizontal points or a horizontal lines here the file now we'll join this oh, we'll apply the radius at corners so here as per the 2d reference design the sketch or a design is get ready now we have to apply an engineering features on this uh, before that we'll use the boolean operation so this is the most important part of our today's video that is to learn the use of a boolean operation so at the first we'll uh, take some reference bodies uh, either you can do inner outer uh, or directly you can do the boolean operations okay so such kind of a method is also there to make an inner one after the outer one all the add bodies we have to add on outer and remove body will removes from inner okay uh, we'll take a basic body now okay i will hide that outer body so now this basic shape uh, we have to add the minus thickness uh, the 3mm is the default thickness so we'll use this as a minus 3mm so either you can this uh, directly removes from our um, main body that is the out i currently given so either you can add into the inner and after then you can remove from the out so it do not making for for make uh, simplification will directly give the name uh, to that out as a joinery duct and here you can see by using the boolean operations we had maintained this 3mm thickness now our next task to add the engineering feature so this is the uh, reference dimensions I am providing here so, so this kind of a uh, mounting at the at the middle corner we, we are adding so side mounts as usual we start with the sketch here Just follow the video for reference. So first of all, we'll make the center lines, which will help us. Okay, now we had taken all the references. Now we'll start for the side mount design. I kept as a tangency here and this is the 6 mm radius it means diameter 12 whatever the angle you want you can give here 
I will keep as a 13.16 degree. Uh, now this will be the 10 mm. Here, here you can see. And uh, this is the M4. That's why we will apply as a diameter 4. The mirror here, and after then we will complete the clothes sketch here. At top side, we need to add the line to make a closer close sketch. So here you can see this uh, this rib we need to design which is offsetted 2 mm so it will be help for uh, adding the ribs on that mount face so after doing the operations um, it will be clear so to avoid a new sketch i will just make a output of this profile which is 2 mm offset from the basic sketch will offset this uh, will profile output for this so now we'll start for the 3d creation as usual in a new body that is the side mount will pad for 5 mm first of all 2 mm uh, as a thickness basic thickness and after then we'll uh, pad that um, output sketch by 5 mm which having the thickness of a 2 mm so this thickness required from outside and here is the that particular mount is get created now that taper we need to remove so we'll use the sketch here for removing so i will just keep um, the imaginary dimensions so either you can keep as it is or you can make your sketch also as for your dimensions with 10 mm is just going to insert in that body 12 m is enough so now we have to remove this profile from that mount so here you can see that the tapered is get created so now we'll apply the radiuses and after then we'll add this uh, body into the joinery duct so this is the boolean operations so we are going to adding that body so now 0.5 mm radius is get applied so we'll mirror that body because uh, it is exactly the mirror from both sides so this is the we have to uh, <coughs> select the middle sketch middle plane so which is exactly 60 mm offset and now we'll apply the mirror command here so this is the top mounts side mounts is get created and we add it into the duct so now you can apply the radius here also either you can add at this this point or after um, making all the time all the operations at the last stage you can also apply the radiuses so whatever the easiest way you can do so this radius is get missed so just you have to double click and reselect that particular line yes the corner is get converted into the radius so now this is get completed now this snap is we are going to design so we'll just take a reference from here and as per our requirement or your requirement you can design the snaps so we'll take a middle plane first of all so here 78 means middle plane should be the 35 mm So this is 35 mm away okay so now select the plane
will um, use the new body for, as a snap here so we'll take a reference at the corners and on a top side we'll design the sketch for the snap So the sketches get completed, now we'll use the pad command for snaps. So what your uh, the snap requirement, it is totally depends upon where it is going to be mount. That's why uh, just refer the dimensions for practice. After all, uh, the assembly point of view we have to design the snap. So we'll now add the some corners radius here. So all the radiuses for the snaps are get added. So now uh, we'll use the boolean for this also. We'll add the snap into the joinery duct. So here it is get merged. So now the pending work is to add a strengthener ribs. So ribs uh, will take a new body as earlier we had taken for bottom side uh, top side mount and uh, that snap also so same kind of operations we are going to do here also first of all we'll start with the sketch to then we'll pad and we'll add that uh, geometry into the join editor before that there is a new command that is the intersect so let's we'll see how the ribs are get created so uh, whatever this uh, uh, the pattern of a rib you required you can use so just uh, take a reference of this sketch but whatever the requirement at the at particular product lever or a part lever you can add the ribs on your particular part so basically we are adding the ribs for uh, strengthening purpose it will be provided uh, it is uh, as we are designing the plastic part so definitely there is uh, 2mm or a 1.5mm 3mm thickness so whenever it is not enough then we are going to add that particular ribs to make the part some kind of a, a strength so here I am designing that particular pattern so as per your requirement you can design
so here some basic sketch is get completed for the ribs so now we are directly padding this rib into that new body click on thickness so 2 mm fiber neutral fiber and so this limit you have to select either you can select the dimensions as a 100 whatever you require so now uh, let's see how the ribs are get created <coughs> So um, we are taking the reference of a basic shape. Just make a copy as a result with link here. So it is most important. So now I will just keep this one. So we have to add that rib on a uh, that tapered or that internal duct area. So I will just remove these radiuses by remove lump command. So uh, my rib thickness should be the 2 mm. So I will add the thickness at that area. Now I'll use the next boolean command that is intersection. So select the basic shape with the ribs. So now you can see that intersection is done. Okay. So finally you have to add this rib into the joinery duct. But before that, if you have forgotten to remove the internal ribs, so you can see here. the internal ribs are not removed so at that time what you have to do you have to remove the internal basic shape uh, so it is already with us so this is the internal basic shape which having the minus thickness so just copy it paste as a result with link and remove from the ribs so finally you get a same solution so here you can see the ribs are get created after then uh, we will add some soften operations like a uh, corners radius etc so finally we had completed the joinery duct which having the snap design bottom side mounting design and drip design so here's the final product here our today's video is get completed thank you for watching our youtube channel we'll try to share more and more technical knowledge related to the plastic product design and advanced cut here but before that you have to subscribe like and share our videos and do not forget to hit the bell icon thank you guys